So we've got a 1900 game on wide chest, 15 minutes each. Let's have a look. 9f3, very flexible move. D5, normal sort of reply. C4. Immediately challenging the pawn takes. Now what's what's the idea behind this? No idea, but what's the idea down this? Again, we'll find out. Queen C2. Okay. I want to play in now. Uh, just play. He's hanging onto the pawn. Or trying to with B5. This is interesting. So we've got the idea of, yeah, A4 coming next. The idea here is then, obviously, black tries to hold onto the extra pawn. And white's trying to kind of do something against that. So this is an interesting setup. This is a different sort of game we've got here. I imagine White has, has played this several times before. It doesn't seem very common. And again, White just puts the pressure on this pawn. So we're looking at takes, takes, takes. So are we going to go and see something like, like Bishop? Yeah, or Bishop just defending. So Black is doing everything they can to hold on to this extra pawn. Why not? We're going to see what happens. It's going to work out for black. Equal, very equal strength players. So we should get an interesting game. And then knight e5. This is not the sort of chess uh, I would play myself, but it's very interesting. So knight probably takes a bishop now, I imagine. Now, maybe at this point, uh, the queen could take back and hold this pawn. So we're going G4. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> White is just playing this really, really uh, weird sort of stuff. Right, uh, weird chest. So when you're faced with an opponent who's playing these weird things like this, uh, I think the idea for Black is to slow down a bit, try and take advantage of it. Like we're, we're not here. We're probably going to move this pawn to protect this pawn. You now we're just slashing out E4. Wow. All right, so this is an idea. Yeah, this is definitely not following any sort of opening theory. Knight coming to this square. All right, so queen's going to move somewhere. Tempo on the queen. And potentially then just pick up this pawn as well. And we're on the knight. Oh. No, I'm not sure what White's doing. This is, uh, I would definitely be black in this position because White is just playing a really strange game. But sometimes that works, you know, you just play something really weird on the board and then you just, you know, hit them with some sort of tactic later on. But the question is where to go with the, with the queen. You just chop it back to its home square and then round up this pawn and we're on the knight. Something like this. I don't know. I really don't like G4, G5. All right, so we come here instead, which is better, obviously. We'll at least be defending this piece. And is Black going to grab the pawn? That's the question. Or is Black going to play something else? Well, that's okay. Grabbing the pawn. And Bishop moves. So what, what's Black done? Oh, Bishop E7. We're just jumping on the pawn. Takes bishop, takes with knight or with queen, with queen holding this pawn. So white's got to be careful of this. So this knight needs to move maybe to this square. Uh, we've also got to stick a check in now that the bishop has moved from f1. So this knight should jump straight in to d3 with check first and that's just going to disrupt white white is then not castling for the rest of the game and this knight is in a massively brilliant position look at that knight anchored in onto d3 come on I want black to play knight d3 check I'm sticking up for black because white's just played weird <laughs> All right, which is fine but I'm sticking up for black yes good move and 
This is looking devastatingly strong for black. We do have to be careful of this move next. It's in the rook. But after we move the knight, king moves somewhere, move the knight, then the rook can just drop. And you can hold back Castling for now. And a knight also prevents this bishop from doing anything. This bishop's horrific. We can take this pawn at some point and drop the bishop back, hitting the queen. And yeah, the queen can get in the game. Could even play this move. But I don't. I don't. I just think developing a knight here now. Just bring the pieces into the game, right? And castle, and, and you know maybe get the queen active or something. Yeah, this makes sense in that it holds up this pawn, and this bishop is on this pawn. We're going to get something like this. So it's also pretty good, but I would have potentially kept this open so that I could drop the bishop back to f6. Uh, yeah, this makes sense, challenging the pawn. Uh, Black wants to try and hold the knight on this square relay. Yeah, this pawn also, at some point you maybe can do this if you can defend this pawn. I, I, I think I would have preferred, I would have preferred development, I think, but never, never mind, we'll see. Because now it's kind of unclear. Have to hold this knight. You want to hold this knight in this position. And the knight takes this issue. It would be a shame to have to give up the knight, you see. But white's on this pawn. So I think I think black just played that slightly wrong. Because it, it would be nice to be able to, if the knight had moved previously, to be able to, you know, utilize the rook. But this is nice. Just holding on to this position and the knight's held into place as well. And how about this as a threat? Let's just checkmate threat. So this is coming next as a, a strong threat in the position. Uh, if you play something like this, you've got this and you're threatening this as well. And this is what you get for the knight. You know, because you may can't do that immediately because, yeah, probably looking at this threat because if this, this would have been checkmate. So, king is having to come into e2. Is unusual. <laughs> so, this knight, unfortunately, is going to get kicked back now, I think. And black's still suffering from lack of development because we want to do this. Still prefer black. Uh, it's, just, it's a shame to have to give that knight up for that really terrible bishop, but yeah. And this sort of brings a rook into the game and something like this and the knight moves. Then we've got these pieces piled up against the, the knight, so you maybe can't even be playing knight c6. So knight, knight could move now. Uh, somehow feel that white's well, kind of getting away with this a little bit. Should have been punished earlier on for the weird moves, but you know it's an interesting game. So the knight could drop in with check. Now I think that looks a good move. Right, and then you got if you can anchor the knight on this square, and then it's potentially game back on again. So you might as well throw in this move. 
Now d4 check, and then do something with the queen. You've got to be careful of sort of this as well. It's the only other thing because of the lack of development. So I think that was what White was worried about. The idea of the queen coming to this square later on. So black goes in for the potential trade. Uh, so now we could take here, but then we take in here. With check takes, rook takes, and going into an end game, which is going to favour black because of this extra pawn. They can start to push. So takes, takes, and black's got a superior end game. But we shall see how it works out. So this is not how I thought the game would end up going. I thought black was gonna, you know, end up punishing white for the moves. But I still prefer black, and also the bishop is on this pawn, so it sort of ties this rook. Is this rook really just gonna have to sit? And defend passively. And black can just start pushing pawn. And it's definite advantage. And yeah, we'll see. So white pawn down in an in-game. And I think this is the right move. You know, I think White would rather gang up on this pawn and lose this pawn and play actively rather than if White just passively defended the pawn on H2, then the black was just going to push the pawn and take massive advantage of that. But yeah, nice move. I like this move, actually. You don't have to take immediately. You can do that. Uh, Uh, is black is going to pick up a pawn. Is it going to make the back rank safe? Try and push the pawn and do something with that? I don't know. Yeah, so back rank safe uh, makes sense for black. This pawn's not going anywhere yet. Unless, if the rook drops back, then we can just push. So I like what black's done there. They're not necessarily rushed and took the pawn. when it's not necessarily to do so. Not necessarily the easiest end game to win because we're going to get a trade on a7, but black is going to take this pawn, and this is still nice because obviously we have this pawn's passed and we can start pushing these pawns at some point. Prove the king, push, 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 and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, and here we go, h5, uh, looks like white is going to try and round up this pawn, but it's not going to work, we can just plus f6, but black would need to either play the king now, or push f6. Right, and then, yeah, okay, this is fine as well, but we'll push next time, get the king in the game, push these pawns. White offers a draw. No, I don't think so. I do not think so. Right, white king. It's going to try and get behind the pawns, but it's not going to be enough. And king up, because we need the king in the game, most likely. There are always chances after we get rid of this. 
this pawn on f6 maybe to bring the rook back as well and start doing things like this. So you want to activate this rook, you don't want just this rook defending the pawn, obviously. I'm just going to push f6 now. And this should leave the rook. Either you can come behind the pawn, start pushing the pawn, or you can bring the rook around here and start creating potential. Well, not necessarily mating threats, but you know it's going to kick the king away when you start pushing. I really think that this is looking really bad for white. And then black opts to reroute the rook to cause some sort of lateral damages. Yes, the king. We'll go, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Can can black play this to the end? And convert this. Or oh, is there some way for White to hold the position? So I think White's playing to try and you know throw in some sort of checks in this position. Oh, so I was looking at that. Oh, let's have a look. Let's go back. The problem with this move. Is it sort of isolates his pawn a little bit, but it still should be all right, I think. I think we could, you know, throw in a check and then bring the king into the game. Essentially, even here, then if there's a check, we can drop the bishop back. Whoops. And we might even be able to weave a bit of a, a mating net as well on king. So that this is another idea. I think I actually prefer that idea. I'll bring the king here. Oh, oh he picks up the rook. Yes. And resigns. Very nice. Yeah, nice. You, you have to... Whoa, we don't want to watch it again. Good game. Good game from Black. I really like that one, uh, especially towards the end with the uh, rook. There's another game straight off here, but I'm not going to watch this one. Or am I? I'm going to get drawn into watching the game. Uh, Cecilia, no. Okay, I'm not going to do that. All right, so thanks for watching. Goodbye.